Hello and welcome to this how tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the indirect formula in Excel. So basically, it's a lot easier to show you using examples what the indirect formula actually does. So we'll get started here. Well, I've got a couple examples set up from Microsoft's help page. And we have rows of data there. And our formula. So I just take that quotation out there to show you how this works. It's going to go ahead and reference A2, which is value is B2. So it goes ahead and uses that. So we should get 1.333 as our answer. And as you can see, that is exactly what we got. Take that apostrophe out there, and this will reference B3, which should be 45. And we'll go ahead here, and it gets an error. This references George, which refers to the cell name. And as of yet, we don't have a cell called George. So I'll name this George, and you can see it automatically goes to 10 there. So that's all right there. And finally, we can concatenate using the indirect formula. This will go to A5, which will give us 5 back, and we'll add on to it using an ampersand symbol, B to it. So this should reference B5 ultimately, and we should get 62 as a result. And there you have it. That's how the indirect formula works. This has been a How Tech Video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.